So I have several uh, Ampere's windows open and I'm going to open another window which has the model reduced by the symmetry condition. Now I'll open up the symmetry and periodicity dialog box. You can see all the surfaces where the symmetry plane has cut through the gear and the sensor are shaded yellow and just refer you down to our little coordinate indicator. The up direction is the y direction and the plane that is cutting through the gear in the sensor is the xy plane and the gear extends in the z direction. So looking at the symmetry settings we have no symmetry condition across the x equals zero or y equals zero plane. The z equals zero plane has an anti-symmetric condition which might surprise you, not a symmetric condition and that's because of the way it's cutting the permanent magnet. Now you remember our permanent magnet is magnetized in the y direction and the symmetry plane is cutting through the magnet but the only time you have a symmetric condition is when a symmetry plane exactly cuts a magnet between the north and south poles. Any other time you'll have an anti-symmetry condition. Now we can also simplify the model by considering that most of the magnetic coupling between the gear and the sensor is going to be in the sections of the gear which are close to the sensor. So what we can do, if we look at the material table, you can see right now we have the gear which is a ferromagnetic material with a permeability of a thousand and we have our permanent magnet which is a rare earth neodymium magnet and our pole piece which is again a, a linear steel. The coils we haven't assigned any materials we're just going to assume that it's a closely packed coil of non-magnetic material like copper and so we haven't assigned any material. So what we can do depending on the type of solver if we had the finite element solver we would have to actually remove sections of the gear that we don't want to model. I'm going to use the boundary element solver for this and in that case if I just remove materials from the section of the gear that I don't want to include in the simulation, the boundary element measure will then ignore those sections. And to show you how that's going to look, I'll open up a typical solve model. So this model has been solved. Once again, you can see the materials. The only section of gear that has material assigned is the section which is directly under the pole piece. And now if we look at the meshing that's been constructed, and I'll switch to a translucent view so you can see it better. Only the sensor, pole piece and magnet, and the section of the gear which had the steel assigned have been meshed. Now I've rotated it so you can see the front face of the gear that has a mesh. All the sections of the model that are cut by the symmetry plane, that's an artificial truncation of the model so that requires no meshing. So that's going to simplify things quite a bit when it comes to the solution.